Hey there, I am Josh Short from Edit Video Faster. Welcome to another tutorial. This one is on how to create guides in Adobe After Effects. So, make sure you create a new comp, and it can be any size, any time, doesn't matter. Then the first thing you want to do is show the ruler. So there's two ways to do that. You can go up to View, and click Show Rulers. Or use the shortcut Command-R if you're on a Mac, or Control-R if you're on a PC. To show a guide, go ahead and click on one of the bars and bring it down. And you can click on the left bar also and bring it across. And there you are, those are your guides. And you can move these things around, you can add more of them, whatever you would like to do. If you create a new solid, Command Y, doesn't matter the size, click OK. And I'm just going to draw a quick mask. So with my selection tool activated, I can drag this solid and it'll snap to the guides. And if you want to turn that off, go under view, and then you can turn it off uh, by going to snap to guides. So then once you do that, it no longer snaps. Or you could turn that back on, shift command semicolon. And there you go. And at any time, if you want to move the guides off, go ahead, click them, and bring it back up into the bar, and they go away. And if you want to keep them there, but no longer want to see them, go to View, and Show Guides, which is Command or Control semicolon. My apologies if this tutorial sounded a little different today. I am sitting in line to get my car inspected. And it's the end of the month, and the line's pretty long, and I'm not sure if I'm going to have time to record it anytime else today, so I figured I'd uh, give it a shot in here. Once again, my name is Josh Short from Edit Video Faster. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I come out with one just about every Friday, either in After Effects or Avid Media Composer, um, or something that is video editing related. Uh, let me know what you think. Uh, Give me a shout in the comment section. Head on over to the website, editvideofaster.com, so you can read more and see more about becoming a faster video editor. Thanks, and I'll see you next week.